The Nigerian Medical Association believes that there are undiscovered COVID-19 cases in Cross River and Kogi State and are asking for a probe of the two states. And the People's Democratic Party, PDP, believe that President Mohamed Buhari has been incompetent in Nigeria's fight against COVID-19. This is Plus Politics and I am Benny Ark. The Nigerian Medical Association, the NMA, has called on the federal government to direct through the Presidential Tax Force, PTF, an investigation into the coronavirus-free status of Kogi and Cross River states. Both states are only two yet to confirm any case of the virus, a record widely disputed by health authorities and the federal officials who believe governments in Kogi and Cross Rivers are discouraging tests for people with symptoms of COVID-19. Joining us to discuss this is Francis Faduyile, the president of the Nigerian Medical Association, NMA, via Skype. Thank you, Mr. Francis, for joining us. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure to be here. How are you doing this evening, sir? I'm good. I'm good with Tango. Uh, let's get to the matter at hand. The, the Nigerian Medical Association has urged the federal government to conduct an investigation into the coronavirus free status of two states, namely Kogi and Cross River states. What is the reason for this request? Well, we have had so many responses from our members who are working in and uh, uh, Cross River state. Uh, some of them have complained to us that they have some cases where they have suspected that they are COVID-19 uh, positive and they have asked for necessary tests to be given, to be done on them. And unfortunately, there had not been any opportunity for them to get these tests done. Uh, you know, Nigeria, we have a lot of people moving from state to state. And because of that, we have had some uh, people who have moved from COVID endemic area to Kogi State, and they have shown some sign. And while doing that, they have requested for the test to be done, and they have restrained or stopped them from getting these tests done. And uh, from the fillers we have, we are very sure that some of the, uh, of the ailments or symptoms of signs or some of those who are sick within Kogi and Cross River states are uh, related to COVID-19 infection. Unfortunately, they have stopped them from having those tests done. Now, Mr. Fadjoule, um, as, 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 as a health expert, it's been, it's been widely circulated and said that some of the symptoms of COVID-19 are, are similar to that of malaria and other, and other, other diseases we know. So could it be part venture, I'm just saying, the government of the states feel the need to, to treat these patients and not necessarily for COVID-19, given the fact that it's ravaging um, the world as it is right now. And are we also saying that th there's no possibility that these two states could actually be COVID-19 free? Well, certainly it is possible that it is malaria. It could be also uh, any other form of illness that we call uh, fever and some malaise or cough. But even before you can diagnose malaria, the normal treatment is for you to have the test done. That is the only way you can say uh, for sure that you are treating malaria. Same uh, is also expected for you to test for those who you have suspicion of COVID-19. If you have cases that you are suspecting malaria fever and you do not have uh, the test done, I can tell you, you cannot authoritatively state that it is malaria fever. So while we are thinking that it could be malaria, it could be typhoid, it could be any other cause of uh, fever, then we should also have in mind that it could also be COVID-19. And the only way you can uh, make the distinction in this regard is when you do the necessary test. Unfortunately, there is uh, a ban on the test of these two, of uh, COVID-19 in these two states. And that is why we are really bothered about that assertion that there is no COVID-19 in those states. If you do tests 
and the test returns negative, then we can say for a fact that it is negative and there is no infection of COVID-19 there. We don't want to go through conjecture that we have all the contiguous states uh, or, or all the neighboring states having uh, COVID-19. And it doesn't seem that you man all the borders around the states. But don't let us go through that pathway. Let us go through the pathway of testing, which is scientific, which is empirical, and which is the uh, mode in which you can confirm. When you don't do tests, you don't have a case. When you do tests, you can be sure that you don't have uh, the, uh, the, the, the disease in that state. Now, Dr. Fadu Yule, when it's empirical, when it's scientific, then um, you, can't, you can't go against it. Now, do you, are you also aware that many Nigerians feel um, not everybody still believe in the existence of the pandemic, thinking it's another government propaganda just as a way to benefit from the relief funds being sent globally? And again, the question is, some people also argue the fact that um, the test kit being used, which is the, the polymers, that it's been speculation, it's, it's been programmed in such a way that no matter who goes for that test, it's always positive. You want to debunk some of this to the people watching tonight? Well, thank you. Anybody can bring up any conspiracy theory. Yeah. Uh, I am not uh, here to come and confirm or deny that uh, those theory. But I can tell you the same thing has happened severally uh, with any uh, diseases in, uh, in, in, in the health system. Uh, sometimes ago, we have a lot of people when they wanted to give them vaccine, and there was a conspiracy theory about uh, being used as a form of uh, causing sterility, which was found at the end of the day that it is not true. But I can tell you for a fact, scientific world do, does not work on conspiracy or su support having uh, issues like this. Those who are bringing up this issue of uh, the test kits designed to be uh, positive are simply are trying to find a way to justify why they do not want to believe in it. Uh, for those who have not believed, uh, what I've heard myself is that they want to see people in the isolation or the treatment centers. They want to see those people who are severely ill. They want to see people who are on respirator. But sincerely, before you can get to that stage, you must be able to have the necessary approval from those patients because the, the, the relationship between doctors and their patients is highly confidential, and you cannot really, uh, take it out. But I can tell you for a fact that COVID-19 is real. Those who are positive are not people who are, uh, who are trying to say, uh, to prove, if, uh, to, 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 to get uh, people not uh, to, to just to believe that there is something uh, called COVID-19 or to seek for um, uh, the relief. But I can tell you that we have had very big uh, uh, personality in this country who, who have died as a result of COVID-19, as well as we have had so, so many people who have uh, uh, recovered from COVID-19. And if you look at uh, the, the balance of uh, uh, the situation, you will know that COVID-19 is real. Now, Dr. Fadjoyile, in your own opinion, wh why do you think the government of these two states, namely Kogi and Cross River states, will be discouraging tests for people with probably symptoms of COVID-19 in their respective states? What could be informing this decision by the two governments? Well, I am not the uh, governors of those states, but what I have heard from their own personal uh, views had shown that they want to stand in the state of disbelief that there is COVID-19. We had one governor who, had, who came out and said that uh, for you to uh, treat uh, HIV, uh, that you need to eat, and uh, it is only eating, the uh, uh, proper feeding that we take care of HIV. Is, in fact, is denying that we have HIV. The same way we have another governor who was saying that COVID-19 is just to uh, to, go, to catch money from uh, the, 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 the coffers of the state. But I must say that it is the, uh, uh, it is the right of everybody to have 
uh, good health and good treatment uh, wherever they seek, uh, uh, they, they feel that is, they needed to have uh, health checks. But what we have seen is this denial. I think we need to seriously say that it is a fundamental human right for everybody to obtain uh, the necessary test to check what is wrong with him or her. But this denial by this government from allowing them to have the uh, proper treatment and testing is not fair. They are, the, the physician place gave, uh, to, uh, uh, gave us uh, be ensured that we have no reason to uh, uh, debar anybody as a result of social standing, uh, race, or religious belief, or any other issues from them to be assessing to assess health. So, in this respect, they should allow the medical doctors and other health workers the opportunity to treat their patients as they feel that it is the right and it is the best way of treating them. This ban by this government and stoppage of this government is taking it too far into the relationship between the doctors, us, and their patients. And I think it is condemnable. There, there are many denials. There are many, there are many denials in many quarters still about the existence of COVID-19 in Nigeria, like you rightly said while you were talking. And for this two state government to be holding their ground on maybe not allowing their people go out for testing, now it, it makes me want to ask a question. Do, do you think the PTF, that's the Presidential Tax Force on COVID-19, and the federal government and the Ministry of Health have been have been fair with their information dissemination and how they manage the information about COVID-19. Because many questions come to mind. We hear of increasing figures every day, discharged patients, uh, debt-related patients. Um, and people feel, you know, th there should be more than those data that we get every day from the NCDC. How do you react to this? Well, as we have stated, when the COVID-19 pandemic entered uh, uh, the country, we have a very weak health system. And this very weak health system has made it very difficult for us to be able to be up and uh, uh, work at the same rate in which COVID-19 uh, infection and transmission is going within the country. Unfortunately, the NCDC, as well as the Ministry of Health, has not been able to, uh, uh, to be on top of the situation. Uh, we have had a lot in many, many times that the NCDC has had difficulties in having the necessary test kits. So what we have seen over time is a backlog of uh, members of uh, patients not being able to be tested at, as, as, as and at when due. And this may account for the reason why we are not having this commensurate number of cases that we ought to see in this country. And for, for, for the situation, the Ministry of Health and the NCDC, as they have found themselves, is not a situation in which we should be uh, putting the uh, blame game as it is. It is because the system was or has been inherently weak, and they needed to move at a faster pace for them to catch up in uh, the treatment of COVID-19. We, we, we shall get there. They are trying their best. We should also, we, all we need to do is to encourage them and let all hands be on deck so that we can bring uh, this COVID-19 transmission to a halt within this country. Now, in a letter written by the Ethic <laughs> Leadership Foundation, a group in Cross River State to President Buhari, it was stated that there is evidence that coronavirus exists in the state, despite the fact that the NCDC has not announced any confirmed case in the state. Could there be any element of truth in this? And why would they cover up COVID-19 cases in the state? That's still a question that needs to be answered. Which states, please? Both states, Kogi and Cross River State. And the ethnic leaders have come to say there are possible cases of COVID-19 probably that have not just been tested yet and discovered by the NCDC. Well, the only way the NCDC can come out uh, as factual as they could is when they have gotten those patients uh, tested. And that is the only scientific evidence in which you can uh, say somebody is uh, COVID-19 positive. But if we have not been allowing those patients to be tested, 
There is no way that you can uh, categorically state that they are COVID-19 positive. The only thing that you can say is that they have COVID-19 uh, positive like uh, the symptoms or signs. And that in medicine as well as in science is not uh, a strong evidence. So if they have said that, it may be based on the clinical features that those patients have uh, are displayed in the different hospitals. We need the government of those states to be able to allow the doctors to do the proper thing by testing those that they suspect uh, they suspected to be COVID-19 so that they can be sure of their status and the way in which they will be treated. A delegation comprising officials of NCDC and the Department of Hospital Services of the Federal Ministry of Health had to flee the Kogi state for fear of being quarantined by the state government. Do you think the Kogi state government is potentially hiding something? Well, I am not part of those uh, teams that went there. And uh, I know that uh, uh, it is possible that if you want to take any position within your state, the state government our uh, governors have that right, yeah, but your especially when... You, you, you have members of your association <laughs> in Kogi, representing the Kogi. No, nobody has reached out to you to tell you what exactly it is. Yes, that was what I first told you. Okay. I told you that members of our association in Kogi State had written letters to the national body informing us that the state government has is blocking them from, doing, uh, from getting the test on those who are suspected to be COVID-19 done within the state. I said that uh, in, the, uh, in my initial statements. And this potents danger to both the health practitioners as well as other patients within the area and the community in general. I've had cases in which some of the very high-ranking uh, 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 medical uh, doctors within Kogi State uh, are, are living in fear because they have been told that they will be dealt with if they ever send any patient to go and do COVID-19 uh, tests, or even if they pronounce any patient to be COVID-19 positive. So all these allegations are there, and the only way you can substantiate if it is right or wrong is when you get those tests done. And in the uh, inability of getting those tests done, we will still assume that the cl clinical acumen of our members may give credence that there are cases of COVID-19 in those states. All right, Dr. Francis, finally, <laughs> just, just by way of thought, is there a possibility, is there a chance that, you know, these two states really are just lucky, or is it that the NCDC is probably being paranoid about the situation? What, what could you attribute this to? Is, it a, 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 is there a possibility the two states are just lucky? Well, in sci uh, scientifically, it may be very difficult for us to substantiate that. Okay. But can we say uh, uh, something is not possible? We can't say that. But scientifically, it's difficult for us to believe. Now, what would your association suggest by way of probe? How do you? I would just suggest the probing should be done, especially with pos possible position from the state government. As I have said earlier. Health is in the concurrent list. So every state has a right to adjudicate about the health of its citizen. And the federal government cannot in any way go and take over or act within the state without having this uh, uh, approval from the state. The probe we are asking is for the president to use his power to give direction that the, uh, uh, the, 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 the uh, presidential power so that those who are supposed to go and do this test should be given that power to enter those states and do the necessary test. And if we can do some cohort and we did not find, that is a way in which we can justify if there were COVID-19 uh, positive patients or not within those states. But it's difficult, as it is now, that you are not doing tests and you say that there are no COVID-19. The fact that you have not seen a rat while you are sitting in your house does not mean that there are no rats in the house. And it does not even also mean that there are rats in the house. But unless you search, you search, that is the time you can be sure that there are rats or no rats in one's house. 
President, Nigeria Medical Association, Dr. Francis Fadiyile. Thank you for joining us on Plus Politics and for your time. Thank you, it's my pleasure. Please let us all stay safe. COVID-19 is real. Thank you very much. And thank you for staying with us. In our next discussion, the opposition party tells what they think as regards to President Mahmoud Buhari's response strategy to handling of COVID-19. We'll be right back.